Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, we've got some good news from Madame X. Um, Crave is being craved on the dance floor. Um, it has finally gotten um, to number 17. Now, it was released three weeks ago, and it was number 37, and I thought that was kind of a low debut, but apparently that's kind of normal. Um, I usually just hear about the dance um, club songs charts when she's number one, so I didn't realise that she kind of starts low and it works her way up, but I guess most, most songs do. Um, the second week, after the Tracy Young remixes were released um, as a promo, and I covered, covered them, and um, they were good, and uh, they got a fair bit of press, that um, bumped the song up to 27, so it jumped 10 points to 27 in the charts. And now, uh, this week, ending October 19, it's projected to be number 17, which is another 10 points. So it's jumping in leaps and bounds, 10 positions in a go. Um, now, I Rise, which was a nut last uh, number one on the Dance Club songs, was number one in its seventh week. Now, I thought it took longer than that. It seemed to be taking a while. But as I said, I was probably following that one from the first week. In the past, I normally hear about them when they're at number one, so I didn't realise how long they take to climb. Now, this is really good, because um, this is going to be a 49th number one. It's, I mean, it's going to get to number one, we all know it. It's going to be a 49th number one chart on the Dance Club songs, which means if they release um, a God Control um, remix um, EP or something, um, an official release... Um, because as far as I know, it's not a single, um, it's just a promotional song. Um, I probably should check that. It should be her 50th, which would be nice, because I think it's the most danceable, dance floor friendly song on the album. So I'm really happy for that to be the 50th, and I really love the song. Um, I had a few little issues with the video and the editing. I didn't think it really served it, and I um, wasn't sure about the message initially, and just the fact that God control instead of saying gun control and it almost felt like she was sort of making fun of it at first with like the disco track because I thought it was going to be a serious, solemn or, or angry song and then it just went into disco and I just it just grated right away but I, I um, once I saw the video and got what she was sort of saying um, although it still seems out of step because the 70s there weren't shootings there weren't problems in the 70s so to take it back then it's interesting because it kind of um kind of it's like a more innocent time and it sort of has a bit more impact in a way but it sort of takes it out of the now which sort of made it a bit less relevant but um i think it's going to be a 50th dance club song now the dance club songs don't get the respect they deserve i think because they're not based on actual sales, they're based on um, the singles being sent out to DJs and who takes them and who plays them, and, and it's more of a popularity contest. Um, and part of the reason why Madonna isn't charting in the sales charts is because she's not getting support, because due to ageism and sexism, she's not getting, and just playing grudges on Madonna that people have had for years, she's not getting the airplay that she should get, that she needs to, to get the singles to chart, which is really unfair. Whereas the dance club songs, it's 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 like, it's just who plays it. And the DJs are loyal to Madonna because she's always served them well, like 48 number ones, you know. <laughs> you put a dan you put a Madonna song on the dance floor and it's a good mix, people are going to dance. Um, and they know that, and they always have. She started on the dance floor. Her first songs were on the, played on the dance floor, and the DJ went to um, Simon Sitsire, or whatever his name was, at Sire's, and got her a contract based on that. So she's had a good history with the dance charts. And some people say it doesn't count because it's not sales. Um, but when you look at the way sales are looked at now, streaming, someone having a song on their playlist repeating over and over again gets counted, I think, just the same as someone buying a download or buying an actual practical single. There are still some that exist. Because once upon a time, you had to buy you had to go to a record store, put cash on a counter, and get a CD and go home and play it. And you could play it a million times and it would be counted as one sale. Just like the videos. All that whole era is different. And I'm glad that era has kind of ended because Madonna ruled it. And this new era, she doesn't ha she doesn't have the same dominance. Um, she hasn't transferred as a um, as a as a um, uh, 
um, streaming artist as some of the younger artists have, but she has she's done well and she does still sell physical um, you know records and downloads, so she's still selling. So, but some people consider that it doesn't count the same, and other people think it actually counts less. That the streaming this era, it's not the same. Um, just listening to a song for free on a service that you pay for with a monthly fee shouldn't be counted as a, like a sale. It shouldn't be considered the same as a sale. Um, and then other people say, oh, she's just not popular anymore because people, all the kids aren't listening to her anymore. Well, those kids aren't paying for those sales. They're getting for free, basically, and they're just playing them over and over again. So I still think the dance club charts count. Um, I think they're a barometer of actual popularity. Uh, people still love Madonna, even if this, the radio stations think um, because of her age and demographics, they pl pay attention to all that. DJs don't care, they just play a song that sounds good, and people on the dance floor don't care, they just dance to a song that sounds good. So I think it really does count. And they've been going since the 70s, I think it started with the Bee Gees, when they started to actually pay attention to what was being played in the discotheques. So I'm going to go, um, thanks for listening. If you know anything about um, the dance chart or the singles releases, um, feel free to let me know and make comments, because, you know, comments are fun. Um, and I'm just going to leave it there. Thanks. Bye.